Howdy friends, this is Mike. I'm an adventure and a dad. Today I got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna go back in time. Back to the year 2018 and the spring of 2018 when we took a little trip with Danielle's father, kid's grandfather, out to Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park. We did a little camping. We saw some cool ruins. Cool old Oldsmobile car with a steering linkage that still worked like butter. And then we went to the great town, the ghost town of Berlin. And we saw the ichthyosaur fossil shelter and we saw the Diana mine. And then we went to Grantsville ghost town to check that out. Got a little bit of rain, a little bit of cool weather, but we had some, some fun and we had some s'mores and it was a good trip. Thanks for joining us, enjoy the show. They say there could be living fossils swimming even still in the vast oceans. Unless you go there and hunt around and see for yourself, you just never know. And so sits this lonely 1935 Oldsmobile L35 four-door touring sedan, like the last ichthyosaur clinging to life. The markings left show its story for those who know how to read them, historians or paleontologists. Here's one now studying the intricate workings of this archaic creature. Turns out this thing still works. The complex mechanical structures exposed to the grinding elements, yet still smooth enough to yield to a child's hand. The miles this thing must have traveled, the rough roads and hard times. Just to be left here, still partially functional, still whole more or less, here at the bottom of what was once many eons, epochs, and ages ago, just the bottom of a vast ocean. Well, good morning, friends. We are today on the eastern flanks of the Shoshone Mountains in central Nevada. And as you can see, it's kind of a rainy day, um, but it's a pretty day. Out across the valley, it looks like it's gonna stop raining soon, hopefully. And there are various mines and mine ruins all around us here on the side of the mountain, including right over here background there, there are, are some uh, mine buildings and structures. Um, we're at the mouth here of, of Grantsville Canyon where there's a big mine with a mill and everything. We'll go explore either later today or tomorrow. Um, and that goes over the Shoshone Range into the Reese River Valley by the to Toyabi Mountain Range, which is the next one east from here. It is raining. And so just north of here in this valley is um, Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park, which is a really cool uh, state park. And there's a mine that you can tour. There's some uh, ghost town ruins that you can tour. There's a campground with 25 sites that were all full last night. And there is a place where they have found a great many ichthyosaur fossils and it's all enclosed in a shelter, which is good, and they give tours of it. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back and walk back to camp. We're gonna pack up for the day and grab the muffins, because I bought some muffins, and we're gonna eat muffins on our way back to Ichthyosaur and enjoy the indoor activities 
at Ichthyosaur, Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park. And then hopefully it will be clear and nice. We brought bikes and we can do some outdoor stuff later and have a campfire and all that good stuff. Thanks for joining us on this adventure today. Stay tuned. The main feature of the ichthyosaur half of Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park is the fossil shelter high on the hill overlooking the park. You'll get the full story when you go up there, but the basic gist is that miners had been finding strange rock discs for years in the area. Sometime later, paleontologists figured out that they were fossil vertebrae from something. A little digging proved that they were in fact a variety of marine vertebrate called the ichthyosaur. The rock in which these fossils are found was formed when all of Nevada was the bottom of an ancient sea some 300 million years ago. The site of the digging is now the fossil shelter and during the tour you're guided through the many nearly complete skeletons of ichthyosaurs that were uncovered by scientists. This be, oh, this is a bone. Look, see, this is a bone from like a mammal. From like a mammal, from a mammal. I, I would guess. That would be their bone. Well, I don't know if it's. Here's some little. The other half of the park is named for Berlin, the mining town that sits below the campground and fossil shelter. For a couple of bucks, you can take a tour of the Diana Mine, which is the only mine in Berlin that's still accessible. You take a helmet and a flashlight and check yourself into the mine by moving a numbered medallion from out to in. The guide takes you back into the mine, which is straight with one bend that leaves you in utter darkness. There are several stops to learn about mining and see some old equipment and tools. Then the end of the line becomes the front of the line and you head back out. Have your little guys stay in the back going in. Then when it's time to head out, you can tell them that they are now the tour guide and they have to lead the group out of the mine. They'll love it. So we made it to Berlin Ichthyosaur, and behind me here is the Diana Mine, which is a really cool mine tour you can take that goes back into the um, hillside a ways, and there's some cool artifacts and a really nice tour guide, and it's really fun and cool. You get to wear a helmet, and you get to play with lights, flashlights. And then over here behind me is this cool um, ore cart. It's really pretty today with the Skies are cloudy, colors are really nice, but it's not raining anymore and hopefully it'll get sunny and warm and everything will be great. We're gonna go back over to the ruins, the old ghost town mine area and have some lunch. Artifacts and structures at Berlin are spectacular, and you're free to explore and wander the buildings full of splinters and rodent droppings, metal snags, and protruding nail heads. Machinery that was once state-of-the-art is now just too massive to throw away. I love trying to figure out what all this stuff once was for, 
and how it worked. You can hike around the mill and see how the ore was carted over from the mine. Well, we're exploring Berlin, but wouldn't you know it, it's starting to rain again. Dang. Um, don't know what we're gonna do about that, but we're gonna get out of rain because the cameras don't like rain. Eventually the rain set us back to shelter, and then back to camp, where it actually got nice for a while. It's raining again, wouldn't you know, central Nevada usually don't have this problem. But we're at Grantsville. This is uh, Grantsville Canyon or Grants Canyon, I'm not 100% sure which it's called. Look at the map. It's a ghost town area and there's a lot of four wheel drive roads and Jeep roads to explore here that are mapped on the, um, the USGS topos of the area. So I think we're going to come back here. We found a really good campsite on an old uh, mining pad. It's nice and flat. I think we can get, we can get my trailer in there for sure. We we'll probably get a little travel trailer in there if necessary. And uh, come out here, explore the um, state park, the Berlin Nixiosaur State Park. It's always fun. Come out here, explore this a lot more than we have in the past. And uh, a lot of four wheeling to be done here, camping. And then um, we brought bikes. We didn't get to ride it much. It's nice, we're just really bummed that it's been so crappy weather, but I think we're going to head back to Reno and see if we can find some good weather on the way and have a good time. Thanks for joining us and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like and subscribe and um, yeah, hold on a sec and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye.